I used to have a shirt that said life is simple. Eat, sleep, play hockey. To be honest with you, not a lot has changed. Growing up in a smaller city in southwestern Ontario, life pretty much meant hockey, souped up civics, and bush parties. I don't go to many bush parties anymore, but hot damn do I ever love rink days. I like to get a brew dog in me pre-workout, you know, to get loose. Gets me playing like hometown Jake. On the ice, they call me buzzin' muzzin'. I usually like to have one before and one after a good skate, so I try to get out three times a week. A training session, a public skate, and a game of pickup. Today, we're training. Muzzy, hometown boy. Won the Stanley Cup with the LA Kings. Can't wait for him to do it with the guys in the blue and the white. I didn't play with them, but uh, <laughs> I knew some guys that did. That's for sure. I always create a little time and space to tape up my stick at the rink. It's how I get into the zone. It's how I visualize all the dirty dangles I'm about to do. I first learned to skate when I was about two. I started playing hockey around five. Parents put me into the Peanuts program. I was a pretty decent skater and had decent hockey IQ for that matter. It got me drafted onto the single A rep team, soon to be known as the Woodstock Junior Navy Vets. I played defense mostly, spent some time on the PK and on the PP. Got a couple MVPs of the game, not a big goal scorer, but I got my fair share of apples. That being said, I did get some big goals from some big clappers that came from the blue line. I don't have the hardest shot in the league, but I wouldn't want to stand in front of it. That's for damn sure. Not a bad release, really. Not bad at all. You catch a goalie sleeping, and all of a sudden we have a 3-2 hockey game going into the third. Most of my minor hockey career was a combination of tearing hamstrings and tearing up about it. I was sent down to house league one year due to a broken arm. I won the scoring championship that year. It was good to be a small fish in a puddle. It gave me some confidence that I'm still harnessing to this day. I stopped playing just before junior D. You know, nagging injuries, new girlfriend, and I'd started playing in a band. And then I just got boozing too hard. I've been back on the ice for a few years now. I'm really getting my stride back. I'm feeling like this is my big moment. Feeling like my hockey IQ is about to burst. A couple of weeks out here and I should be able to get rid of my Kessel frame. I'm starting to think that this is probably going to be my comeback year. Of course I'd love to play in the pros. If they ever asked me, I'd lace up. John Scott did it. Scott Foster played a game. There's no reason I can't make it to the pros still. This is my year. My year. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'll ever stop. I love this game way too much, and you just never know who's going to need a third string D late in the season. Life is full of tears and tears. I just gotta keep my head up, stick on the ice, and as old Walt said, pass the puck before you have to pass the puck.